Uh, I'm here actually to talk about the cloud. Um, how many people are curious about the cloud and actually um, already know a lot about cloud computing? A lot. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> curious. So, how many people feel that they will, uh, they will, um, or they know about Amazon Web Services? Let's go. Okay, few. Cool. So, what I will do today, what I have done uh, today, is kind of um, an understanding the um, the whole arena around what the cloud is. Kind of not talk about so much the buzz around what cloud is, but kind of go around more technology and the benefits that it provides. What I have done today is kind of taking and capturing some of the patterns and the trends that, that I've seen in the cloud computing arena. There are some basic advantages, the basic things that, that, that clearly distinct are, are, creating, are creating a really cool uh, way of you know, computing. And that's the reason it is so disruptive today. So I'm going to focus on, on some of that. Um, so before that, let me actually you know, play a small, um, a small video to kind of illustrate what this is. So this is a video that I I created. This is a video that I created you now in less than like you know, 30 seconds. It's a 30 second video as well. And I uploaded a bunch of my photographs. I pointed to my Facebook app and, and it downloaded all the photographs from my Facebook profile. And and I uploaded the soundtrack for that mu for, for which was playing. And based on the cadence of the music and the pitch and the tone of the music, it will align this photograph and create this auto video automatically. This is called Animoto.com. This is an application that has been built in the cloud and in a, in a really innovative way. It's a highly data intensive and a compute intensive task uh, uh, application. I made this video for my wife uh, on, my, on Valentine's Day and she went all lovey-dovey over me. <laughs> <laughs> So that was, that was really cool stuff. And the reason I'm sharing this story today is, is kind of focusing on, uh, on the way how, how cloud is actually leveling the playing field. This app was built by four community college graduates uh, with this killer idea that they wanted to align photographs with the cinematic uh, experience of, of creating you know, this video on the fly. And, um, and they share a really cool story as well in their success story. They uh, launched a Facebook application a few uh, days a few, uh, last year, uh, two, sorry, two, uh, April of la uh, 2008, and they were running around you know, 40, 40 steady state servers, uh, and they were having around 25,000 users uh, using the system. And the Facebook application just got viral. It, was got, it got famous because of the, you know, the coolness factor that is associated with this app. What um, they found out that you know, it got slash dotted, the slash dot effect, uh, that this application was so cool that 25,000 users were being added or, or, or be, uh, were accessing this particular thing, hour, uh, uh, application every single hour. So every single hour they had to meet up, it was growing badly, and they had to scale up their resources. So from 40 servers to 5,000 servers in the matter of three days. A four community college team, a community college graduates team, uh, having the ability to actually go and, and, and scale their resources in the matter of time is, is, you know, is not was not possible in the past, now it is. So they, this particular app is completely built on, in the cloud, uh, on Amazon Web Services, and it is, it is, they have some really cool stuff now, which is changing the way how education will be delivered to the, to the new classroom. And they have different ways in which you will be actually making this entire experience of cloud, of, of, uh, of this uh, interactive way of, of uh, demonstrating. So their, their punchline is end of slideshows. Right? So the reason I'm showing you this particular, uh, talk, talking about the story is that it is leveling the playing field. Now, uh, no, a small team of graduates will, with a cool idea can 
can actually you know, launch their idea and become successful and actually scale automatically based on the resources they have. Right? So, so why is that so much excitement? What is the excitement around this cloud so much? What is the buzz going around? What are some of the ways in which, why are people so um, you know, um, curious about this whole new cloud thing? So let me, let me share an analogy with you. So what you are currently seeing here is a photograph of our uh, CEO visiting a beer manufacturing company in Belgium. What you are seeing here is an electric generator that they used 100 years ago. 100 years ago, there was no electric grid. So if they had to you know, you know, function for their you know, beer manufacturing, they had to generate the electricity by themselves. So over after, after you know, 100 years, the electric grid came up and, and uh, you know, they got rid of this. So it is a, it's now sitting in the museum of the uh, Belgium uh, beer, brewing company. I guarantee you that you know, wh whatever the amount of time and effort they have actually put into this making, you know, generating electricity in their basement, uh, it, their beer was not tasting any better. Or, or the amount of, un, uh, what I'm trying to kind of, kind of say is, this is undifferentiated heavy lifting that they were doing, and which was not adding any differentiated value to their product, in beer. The same analogy is now coming to the computing industry, where these company-owned data centers that are currently out there, which are managing the hardware, managing the, you know, managing the entire you know, data center, and, and so forth, the same analogy is coming into the computing industry, and computing is itself becoming a utility. And why is, why is it happening now? There are primarily three main reasons. Commodity, hardware is becoming a commodity. Hardware is becoming cheaper. Storage is becoming more cheaper day by day. Compute is becoming more cheaper day by day. Internet is becoming more ubiquitous day by day. And bandwidth is getting more cheaper day by day. So the three main drivers is actually towards the whole idea around these util computing becoming a utility. So that's what I think is happening in the computing industry is to, that's why there is so much excitement that they can now, like people like Animoto, can actually now focus more on their application and not worry about you know, hardware, soft, or, or even software, or you know, racking up servers and so forth. They can simply create our work and focus only on the application, and then may do that thing more, better, rather than worrying about uh, worrying, worrying about things that is not adding any differentiated value to that business, which is you know, in this case hardware and plugging in wires and 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 worrying with spaghetti wires here. So that's where that's where I see that shift happening around the cloud, and that's why there is so much excitement around you know, this whole cloud. That I want to I want to I, I can quickly spawn up on a, a server in or storage on, on in the cloud without having to worry about you know, where it is, how how it is hosted, or so forth, and just click few buttons and get servers and storage and so forth. 